Hi guys, and welcome back to another art video. And in today's video, I am bringing you my very first collaboration. Um, <laughs> I've had a few collabs in the making that never really saw the light of day, but this is the first one that's kind of making it to my channel, uploaded uh, all the way through. And I'm really excited because it's with one of my very close friends, Ken Wave, who has just recently delved into YouTube, and I'm really excited for him. Um, I hope you guys go check out his channel because I really, really like the stuff that he's making right now, and I think that you all will too. Um, <laughs> I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but the collab that we decided to do is a little bit of a change from the usual kind of line art swap that you see art YouTubers doing. Um, we each have the Windsor & Newton Cotman watercolor palette, so we decided to switch colors, sort of. So he gave me three watercolors to use for my piece, and I gave him three watercolors to use for his piece. And we each had a sketch already done that the other person didn't see, if that makes any sense. So you'll see me doing my sketch right now, and he does his sketch, and then we exchange colors and color in that sketch with the three random colors, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this collab, and I hope you all enjoy it too. So here is my sketch. It is kind of based on a drawing that I found in my sketchbook um, that I wanted to turn into a finished piece. And uh, yeah, now let's see what colors can we've chose for me. Hey people, I'm Kenwave from the channel Kenwave, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to be choosing the colors for Brett to be painting with. So we have the same watercolor palette, so I don't know, we thought it would be interesting for us to use both of them. I have like a general idea of some colors that I might want to use, or might want him to use, but not quite sure. Looks nice, it looks promising. Mm, Brett uses yellow a lot because I know it's his favorite color, so I'm not gonna include that. All right, so we have, I think we're gonna go with this green here, and then we're gonna go with this ready brown over here and to top it off we're gonna go with this color right there oh my god i had my thing off the screen this entire time okay brett these are the colors that i want you to use emerald indian red and purple lake good luck and i'll see hopefully i'll see some of you guys in my half of the video Okay, so these are the colors that Kim Wave chose for me. Um, I think this will make an okay palette. I have some sort of skin tone in there, um, and I can use the purple for mixing purposes. I don't know that I'm gonna use the green and the purple together, um, because I just that just reminds me of Barney, and I just can't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I feel like I can make something out of this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's find out. I'm going to color my sketch now. <laughs> okay, so I actually ended up enjoying these colors a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I think that like the dark purples and black and um, green that I <laughs> was able to mix kind of gave it this nice like dark villainy type look almost. Um, the dark, like, reddish brown, purpley color that I mix with the Indian Red and Purple Lake, and combined with that emerald that I just kind of used straight from the pan, um, those two combined kind of gave it this, like, edgy villain look. Like, I was kind of thinking, like, Maleficent or, like, The Wicked Witch. There's always, like, a very, very dark color contrasted with that light emeraldy green like this one. And it just kind of gave me that sort of vibe. Um, 
And this piece also just went in a direction that I didn't expect. Whenever I first sketched out this piece, I had gotten, I used like a reference on Pinterest that was kind of my inspiration for this little sketch. And it, it featured like primary colors, so I was really um, visualizing the finished picture with like reds and yellows and blues and just like bright bold colors like that, maybe some oranges or something. Um, and it really turned into this like muted, dark kind of picture that I really, really like. Um, but it's not all dark, it also has like the brown boots and the green background that I added at the end that I didn't really expect to add, uh, but it just kind of happened. Um, in the picture, the model was like standing on some kind of box, so I transformed that into like stairs, like a staircase going up. And then in the background, um, at the end, I decided to just put in some green and make it like this little bush, which I thought like, first of all, made good use of the green that I had only used for like the eyes and the stripe on the shirt. Um, and also it just kind of adds this like nice woodsy effect to it that I really like. Um, and yeah, this piece completely went in a direction that I did not expect at all. Um, but I think I like the direction that it went in. Um, a lot of times color palettes like really make or break an art piece for me and I thought that this was not going to turn out well with the sketch that I had made um, but it I don't know I think it ultimately works I'm glad that I definitely didn't use a very bright purple it was more of a muted purple that purple lake color it's more of like a dark grayish purple which I really liked um, and mixed with that Indian red, it kind of made this muted brown, dark tone for her hair. And it just kind of, all the, the piece kind of came together with all the mixing that I was able to do. They're definitely colors that I wouldn't use normally, um, and that I would not mix together normally. I would never mix together a brown and a red, did I say brown? I would never mix together purple and like a reddish brown. Um, that's just something that I would never think of, and I don't know. I just, I just really really adore the piece that I ended up with and I don't even think it looks like it was a limited color palette challenge a lot of times you can tell like this was a challenge for them to include all three of these colors but I think this one just looks like a normal piece and uh, I don't know I'm really really proud of it and I really really appreciate Kenwave for picking these colors for me um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this collab. It was more of a kind of subtle collab. Uh, he didn't influence the piece in, like, um, like, giving me line art directly to color or, uh, giving me a subject or anything, but I thought it was a nice kind of cool subtle collab that we just gave each other color palettes to work with, and, uh, it really just, I don't know, it made this little speed paint more exciting for me, and... I think you should all definitely go check out Kimwave. He makes great content. He does a lot of watercolor pieces. He is doing a few sketchbook tours I have noticed recently. Um, and yeah, if you like my stuff, you will definitely like his stuff. He makes good art, uh, good videos. He's he's doing it. He's doing it real good. Um, and I wish I did as well as him whenever I started because there were some rough videos to start with. Um, anyway, yes, all. Everybody, go check out Kim Wave, um, and thank you, Kim Wave, for doing this collab with me. I really, really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the colors that I picked for you, and I'm so excited to see how your piece turned out. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.